This film, showing primates in captive conditions, provides comparative material on activity patterns and social relations for several taxonomic groups. The first species is Macaca fuscata, the Japanese macaque, which is the largest member of the macaque genus, weighing up to about 40 pounds. They locomote terrestrially and arboreally with relative ease. This film will show patterns of locomotion, communication, play, feeding, and grooming, as well as physical features such as size and sexual dimorphism. These two females are grooming. When one animal stops, the receiver solicits more. And the other eventually begins again. The groomer manages to manipulate the other's thick fur quite dexterously, even though her broken finger has healed so that it is stiff. The other animal indicates by positioning herself where she would like to be groomed. Often this is an area where she would have difficulty seeing for herself. Grooming styles tend to be rather individualistic, but are effective at cleaning the fur of bits of dirt, stick, and sticky material, as well as flakes of salt or dead skin. The groomer may eat the salt flakes, but basically the activity itself is a very positive one. It provides close proximity and tactile contact, which can either express close relations or be used to develop them, in addition to the cleaning function. These animals in particular are not very relaxed, as can be interpreted from their restless movements and the eyelid flickers of the animal being groomed. These one-year-olds play behind the adult male of the group. Japanese macaque males tend to be extremely tolerant of infants, and they can play around him quite happily. Young animals often form peer play groups with peers and run up and down trees or play with the ropes provided. They are quite limble and in little danger of falling, even when they hang only by their feet. They may intersperse the play with feeding behavior. This underslung method of crossing between trees is definitely play, and they enhance their skills by not always grasping the rope with one foot. In normal group locomotion, they would probably not use this method, and thus differ from some types of prosimians who quite often cling under branches. Imitation is an important aspect of play. These young animals gain a lot of confidence about their environment by playing around it in this way. Normal terrestrial quadrupedal locomotion is demonstrated by this female. Her short fingers allow her to put her hand down flat on the substrate. Yet when she is picking up small grains of rice, her thumb and short index finger come together in a definite precision grip. This was also observable in the grooming session. In the wild, they eat leaves, seeds, roots, and the cambium layer of bark, and when provisioned, they receive rice, sweet potatoes, and monkey chow, which is provided to keep them out of farmers' fields in Japan. Another female is also feeding, but she is eating bark from a tree branch. She is rather nervous of the animal approaching behind her, although by not looking, she does not interact with it. It is January, and all the animals are in full coat and sitting huddled against the cold. <laughs> 